Alert, Rand Paul issues shock Trump announcement, stunning media. Senator Rand Paul, Archie, has surprisingly been one of President Trump's staunchest supporters in the upper chamber of Congress. In the absence of congressional action on health care, Trump has used his executive authority to dismantle parts of Obamacare, and Senator Paul is giving his approval. As covered by the Washington Examiner, Trump on Thursday signed an executive order allowing Americans to buy health insurance across state lines. Paul took to Twitter to praise the action, writing excited to celebrate at real Donald Trump's decision this week to allow individuals to buy health insurance across state lines. Paul, who has been in regular talks with Trump over the health care issue, spoke very positively of the president's actions on health care. President Trump is doing what I believe is the biggest free market reform of health care in a generation, he said. The Kentucky senator, who is known for his willingness to stand against GOP party leadership, went on say, I want to commend the president for having the boldness and foresight and leadership to get this done. Trump's executive order is part of an effort to lower the cost of health care by loosening Obamacare rules. Although the Republican Party has taken both houses of Congress and the White House on a pledge to repeal and replace Obamacare, lawmakers have so far voted against efforts to eliminate the previous president's signature policy. As a result, Trump has said that he is effectively taking it upon himself to undo the aspects of Obamacare within his executive authority. The president indicated his intention of signing a health care related executive order last Tuesday, when he wrote on Twitter. Since Congress can't get its act together on health care, I will be using the power of the pen to give great health care to many people, fast. The new order seeks to accomplish this through the use of association health plans. Trump's executive order instructs the Departments of Health and Human Services, Labor, and Treasury to take measures that will make it easier for Americans to buy coverage through such association health plans. However, the order was not made in time to go into effect this year. As the Heritage Foundation explains, association health plans allow trade and professional associations to join together to purchase health insurance for themselves and their employees. The Trump executive order will make it easier for an association to do so across state lines. Another key component of Trump's executive order is allowing people to buy low-cost, short-term health insurance plans. The White House anticipates this will create a wider range of coverage options for Americans, and thereby bring down overall insurance rates. Trump said of the executive order, We are all gathered together to do something that is very powerful for our nation and very good for our people. President Trump signed an executive order on health care this week. Did you support him? Trump took another swipe at Obamacare on Thursday when he suspended the Obamacare cost-sharing reduction payment on Thursday, as reported by Briet Bart. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders explained that the subsidies paid to insurance companies were illegal, saying in a statement that the United States House of Representatives sued the previous administration in federal court for making these payments without such an appropriation, and the court agreed that the payments were not lawful. The bailout of insurance companies through these unlawful payments is yet another example of how the previous administration abused taxpayer dollars and skirted the law to prop up a broken system. Obamacare subsidies currently cost taxpayers $7 billion per year. Trump has previously said that Obamacare is dead next month if it doesn't get that money.